Hey everyone, I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I just haven't had a chance uh, <clears> to <throat> the last couple of days to unbox this uh, package that was sent over. So uh, right now, let's take a time and take a look what's uh, come in as the delivery. We'll take a look uh, what has showed up here. This could maybe could be the Windows 8 tablet. Or maybe another uh, ultra portable. We'll soon find out right now. Open this up real quick for you guys. Alright. Alright, here we go. As you can see, it's not the. You might be already noticed. Uh, Here. There you go. It's the Samsung Galaxy Note that's going to be released next week. Those should be be announced uh, August fifteenth. So this is a really quick look at it. This one's got the ten point one inch screen. It's got the new. Uh, HP HSPA plus built in so we're gonna take a look at this is the quad core 1.4 as you can see there you get, let you guys take a look at those specs real quick so we're, we're gonna have to test this one out see how well it behaves out there well I'll compare this also to the HTC Jetstream the, the Jetstream has worked very nicely but um, we'll see how good this one this is supposed to be more like the Galaxy Note, which by the way is a very nice device. And this is the 16 gigabit model, as you can see here that they shipped out. Yeah, it looks very nice, looking very good. Let's uh, focus down here a little bit for you guys. It's got a nice little packaging. It's uh, it's actually pretty light. I mean, not light, light, but um, it's a. Uh, it's usable or handleable. We'll have to test this out. It's probably just as heavy as a iPad. But let's take a quick look around it. As you can see, it's got the S Pen, S Note, Galaxy Note. There you see, 1.4 quad core. So Android GPS, and this should be receiving Jelly Bean hopefully pretty soon. And as you can see here, this also has the speakers on the side like the Galaxy. Uh, tab that's out right now the 10.1 here's the other speaker let's take a look at the top as you can see it's got the infrared here that's this for the door for the sim card let's pop this open for you guys so you take a look and then uh, you just slide that in there your sim card we'll, we'll test that out see if it's a uh, since this is an unlocked version I'll try to see if I can get my at t sim card the nice thing about this is also got let me fix this it's got for a micro SD card here too as well. We'll go ahead and pop in uh, maybe a 32 gigabyte because that's what it supports. If I get my hands on a 64, I'll try to try to see if I'll be able to read that. Uh, volumes, power, the power does, seems to be in the same place. Um, it's got the camera and I believe that's the sensor there as well. And on the back, as you can see, it's got the diagram for the SIM card there and there's the model number and then there's micro SD showing you and let's not forget the redesigned of the little garage for the S Pen there it's very nice oops that's uh oops, sorry about that dropped it on the bottom you got the microphone here and of course the pin connector there and on this uh, right left hand side there is abs there's absolutely nothing here as you can see and as you can see it's very very thin um, let me see if I can put a compare for you guys real quick let's get a let me see if I can get a little get a comparison I'll get you guys show you guys a let me move this down and I'll bring this down so you guys can see this how thin this is um, I'll give you guys a good sample there you can see how very thin 
here's a quarter give you give you an idea so it's very nice and thin there I'm gonna go ahead and try to see power this up while this powers up um, I don't know if it's probably not charged actually boot turned on so let me go up a little bit high here and um, go take a look at what comes inside here in the box so as you can see pretty much nothing just like, like the normal you get the charger and then you get the connector here for the power what I like actually this type of charger because if you're traveling or this char charger can be used for any country all they have to do is uh, ship this separately or you can get one if you're traveling stick it in here and you're good to go unless you have a universal type uh, worldwide charger then it's good and under here as you can see the only thing I see more different is now they've added uh, some extra tips here for the pin as you can see let me open this up for you guys real quick and of course this is the ring that you use to you pull out the let me show you guys real quick Oh, it's right here sorry about that yeah you just uh, basically put this in here and then you, cl you, cl you close it in here I don't know if you guys can see that you stick to this stylus in here in that little hole then you then you squeeze this down and then you then you pull it like this and they'll come out and then you can stick a new uh, stylus in there uh, this one does come with the uh, looks like a headset this pretty much looks like the one that comes in the Samsung Galaxy S3 as well. And of course you get your USB cable with it. Okay, well, I'm back here. Um, in the meantime, I went ahead and um, <clears throat> loaded up this and started it up. Let me let's go ahead and let me move this out of the way here. And I'll show you guys. I'll go ahead and let's take this off of here. That way we can get more of the settings here again this is a nice uh, well well built as you can see the edges here everything's very lined up very straight there's nothing um, any no gaps or anything like that any kind the speaker grill is very nice uh, it's pretty much like the the phone on the Samsung Galaxy S3 let me show you guys real quick as you can see there so they've done a great job on the assembly of this so I'll show you a couple of little features this has as well this is almost like a pretty much like a big Galaxy S3 uh, again it's got the you guys can hear that that's like water so when you touch it this is the home screen you can disable that so that opens that up. Let's go back to the home screen. And again, this is all you, this all can be customized so you guys can change this. But this is what this is basically I haven't installed anything on this. This is this is all you get from um, Samsung here. Here's the pin. As you can see, it, it works good. Also I want to show you guys that. I do have the the S pin as well, so this also works because this is actually was for the Galaxy Note. So these have the same thing as you can see. So you're able to use this, and actually this for some reason this tip feels a little bit um, actually smoother on the screen. It glides more more easier. So if you're probably writing, this one feels a little oops. Get that. Oops. This tip right here that, that that comes on here. Again, I can change those tips, but maybe that's that's what it is. Uh, let me see if we can focus there for you guys. It just feels a little bit um, rougher on here, just by a tad. It's not rougher, but it, uh, it seems that this one on uh, this one glides a little bit better. But again, it's probably the tip on them. So I'm going to try to see if I can change this tip for one of the other ones that came in the package. There's a couple different ones in there. So 
Um, I'm also going to try it, as you can see, this comes with the phone. So I don't have a SIM card yet. I'm gonna put, I'll try to put my SIM card so you can um, actually make calls and stuff from this thing. So we'll, we'll go ahead and try that in a little bit. But first of all, I just want to show you guys that this also has um, some quick settings here. Let's go to settings here. As you can see, uh, the display, um, it's got the same thing that Galaxy S3 has, which has the smart state. So if you enable this, um, it basically <clears throat> stays on uses this sensor to recognize you're looking at it so it doesn't shut off so you can set your screen timeout maybe for a minute but that way if you're reading unless you're in the very dark it might not pick up your eyes but basically even in low light I've so far I had good luck on the S3 it does a fairly good job so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that on there and see how that works out on screen you can change these um, set wallpaper for home screen you can do live wallpapers, we'll see what you get. As you can see, these are all the live wallpapers, photo wall. Some of the stock photos, deep sea. That one is the one that you can have, it's just a live wallpaper there. So we can cancel that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and try a few things and see how it works. Uh, I'm really liking this. Uh, let's try, the, let me see the S note here. We'll do, let's just do a, I'll just try to add one here, just we'll use the note here. And we'll see how this works out. Let me go ahead and put this in portrait here. And let's see, we'll try to, I can tell you right now that actually this work is excellent inking on this device. Um, I'm really going to like this. I. I I need a lot of inking for work, taking notes, and this is actually going to be, I can already see it's going to work very good. And uh, I'll show you guys in one of my other videos, I showed you guys how to sync this to your Evernote, back to your computers or any uh, tablet, and you guys can vice versa, change notes, uh, upgrade, and do a lot of things. Uh, I have posted a video of that, so you might want to take a look. That's under the Galaxy Note. Uh, sinking, but I'll try to do another one on this one. But this is actually working really nice. You can rest your palm in here with no effects. Uh, again, let's say hello. As you can see, it's working very nice. Let's try. I'm gonna go ahead and try it with this pen. Uh, Samsung. I don't know if you guys can see that. I try to keep my hand out of the way, but it's working really good. It glides very easy. I'll keep my hand out just so you guys can see. Uh, uh, let's see. I'll just do hello. It's very fluid. I mean, this thing. This is very. Not too much of a lag, as you can see. It's almost right behind it. The inking, but as you're writing, uh, you don't see any lag at all as you're writing. This is the best tablet. I'll erase this. Oops. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll do a new one here. Tablet. To ink on this is very nice as you can see if I put a little bit of pressure it makes the fine lines and if I kind of push it down I get a thicker line but if I just lightly I get a thinner line so you get all the pins here you get to choose we want brush as you can see there Let's go with this one. Oops. You can see very nice for quick drawings. This is if you want like a pencil lid. This is a little marker. And you can see it's kind of like uh, see through. You can put the different colors on it, intensity on it. Right here you can raise it, lower it. 
and these are all preset colors here you can change the colors here if you wanted to and there here you get the different um, add-ons you can put on it's running very nice again it's got that nice pearl looking this is the 3G version as you can see so um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to put the um, AT&T card there see if it works and I'll show you guys in a quick video so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and I'll come right back alright everyone okay we're back I <clears throat> went ahead and booted up I installed uh, the SIM card from my um, S3 from AT&T as you can see we'll go ahead and just place a call here uh, it's got for extra volume here Buy the best rate to refinance your phone or save on a new loan. Call so it's working good, so you can actually dial. 220 1500. That's 1 800 220 As you can see here. So we'll go ahead, let's end this call. You know, let's, give it, let's give it a try. We'll, um, let me see. We will locate target store. Go ahead, go, and then we'll see if we can uh, see if we can get the information here. Click on it, and then we can go ahead and see. It should give us a hopefully right here to call it, and then we'll place the call. And again, this is just a store. Keep for calling Target Pharmacy. The pharmacy is currently closed. If you are a target as you can see it's guest, perfectly working good so you can have a uh, now that you if you thought that galaxy note was big this probably um, you probably would look kind of funny holding this up to your ear out in the street but hey why not you'll be the only one carrying the big galaxy note up to your ear as a phone <laughs> but um, this is going to be nice because you can also share the this is actually is it's rated as 3g so you would be able to get pretty much depending on the location you are anywhere up to 21 megabits per second download which is not bad for your typical stuff that you're using even at 10 is perfectly fine so this is even though uh, my galaxy s3 is uh, on lte from at&t this is probably going to be just as fast so i could use this as a hotspot as well if you wanted to you can go to settings here and you go to more settings and then you can see the mobile networks here tethering hotspot and so it's pretty nice so I'll give that a try and I'll keep testing it out and see how well I'm gonna give it a try with the GPS see how, how quickly it works out in the road and I'll keep you guys up to date so um, again this is a very nice device this is gonna be a nice tablet if you're in if you need like something that for inking this is gonna be a nice device so that's just a quick look of the 10.1 Galaxy Note from Samsung so thanks for watching one more thing before I close this up uh, another thing I just forgot to mention to you guys when you do dock that pin here that little writing pin if you dock it in as you pull it out you'll notice uh, once you pull it out this is very nice that they've done this that it gives you an option right away to create an S planner this also again it works really nice with the pin I've used it on the Galaxy Note and you get the options of all these that you can use you make quick notes when you when you dock the pin back in here if you had that open you see how it just disappears very very well thought of uh, so I just thought I'd show you guys that before I close this up thanks again